Coming up, Liverpool Mountain is unveiled and there's a giant accolade for Royal Deluxe. Well, first, if like me you love a pint of beer, then the clubhouse in Liverpool One is the place for you this weekend. Oktoberfest takes over Friday and Saturday. Bavarian live music, uh, a great local band called the Ragamuffins and huge giant steins of beer, which we love. Check it out. If you book now on Eventbrite, tickets are completely and utterly free. It starts Friday at 6pm. Amazing. Now, we are still buzzing from our time with the Giants and fantastic news this morning that Jean-Luc Cocu, the director behind Royal Deluxe and the team have been awarded the freedom of the city. So, Joe Anderson had said that Liverpoolians hold them in their heart and we couldn't agree more. What an amazing accolade. Fantastic stuff and really well deserved. Everyone at Royal Deluxe scares the life out of me but I adore you all, especially you, Valerie. Uh, it was very scary, Valerie. but what a woman, what a woman. Uh, listen, there's something great happening in 2020 for Liverpool. Our brand new Liverpool Cruise Terminal opens for business, bringing in even more visitors to the city, even more giant cruise ships. And you can see on screen now, this special kind of exclusive flight through video of what it's gonna look like. 10,000 square meters um, of cruise terminal heaven, uh, over two floors, and it's just gonna be so good for the city. So well into everyone down at Liverpool Cruise terminal. Now that's 2020 and in 2021 Liverpool will host its biggest ever multi-sport tournament. The Special Olympics GB comes to the city with five days of sport and action, 2,000 athletes wow. and a special opening and closing ceremony at Sefton Park. Details are on the site now. Now did you know that Liverpool now has its own mountain, Kate? Wow. Uh, this has been unveiled just outside Tate Liverpool in the Albert Dock in our mermaid courtyard. It's 10 metres high, it looks beautiful and it's internationally acclaimed artist you go Ronda Noni, uh, who's brought it to Liverpool. He's got them around the world, and it's a UK and a Liverpool fair. So fantastic stuff. Check it out. It opens for business next week. Amazing. It's been such a busy week. Elsewhere in the city, we've got the huge Impact Culture Conference taking place, and also Liverpool Irish Festival details on the site. We'll speak to you tomorrow. Happy Wednesday. More online, as always, the guideliverpool.com. Bye-bye.